How you doing and welcome to Mike Risco Music Guitar Lessons Series. In this lesson we're going to talk about some theory behind a major scale. Now that's really important to know because so much of our music is based off of the theory from the major scale, including other scales that we have to construct and uh, chords and all kinds of other stuff. So let's talk about this. Now a major scale is the scale that sounds like this. The do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do sounding scale. And uh, when we build a major scale, a major scale is constructed of a series of whole and half steps. So, and that would be called the major scale formula. So the major scale is whole step, whole step, half step, then whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay? So let's let's demonstrate it on one string. I'm gonna play it linear on on one string because I think it's a good way to demonstrate the whole and half step concept. It's easy to see it. Now, if you don't already know this, from one fret to another, the distance of one fret is a half step. So if I play the note C here on the second string, first fret, and I go up one fret to C sharp, that's a half step. If I start on C and I go to D, two frets, that's a whole step. So let's build the scale now. So I start on C, from there I go up one string here, whole step, thing to know about this is we number all of these. So each note of the scale gets a number. So C is the number one, which just means it's the first note of the scale. D is number two, second note of the scale. E is number three, third note of the scale, and so on. So if somebody said, oh, what's the third of C? All that question means is what's the third note of the C scale? So if we know our C scale, we just follow that formula, hold it in half steps. It's E. The third of C is E. So that just means the third note of the C scale is the note E. If I wanted to know what the fifth is, I go to the fifth note of C. So I start on C here, I follow my scale formula. Three, four, five. That note is G. And that's really important for understanding how chords are constructed. Now let's move to a C chord. Oh, by the way, there's other ways to play a C scale. This is a really nice way to, to see the whole and half step formula, as I mentioned, but you can play a C major scale many, many different ways that might be a lot more usable and like soloing, you know, ideas. So I can play a C scale like this. Here's a regular C chord that most people know. Now, what we want to know about this is the theory behind it. A great exercise is to play any chord that you know and name the number and the letter. So when I start here, I'm starting on the fifth string and going across through the first string. This uh, note here, that's my third finger, that's the note C, and that is the one. If I play the next note on the fourth string, that's the note E, and that's the three, or the third. The next string is open G. G is the fifth. So, so far I have one, three, five. The next note is a C, okay, and that's number one again. And then when I play the first string, that's the note E, which is the third again. So when you make a C chord, the formula of the C chord is one, three, five. So that just means I'm taking the first, third, and fifth note from the C scale. So that would be the notes C, the notes E, and G. And if I put C, E, and G together anywhere on the guitar, you get a C chord, and you can double and triple them. Um, you can play one of each or more. So again, I want to know that this is one, three, five, Lots of combinations and ways to play C chords up and down the neck. What this does for me is, let's say 
I uh, want to play, I want to do something more interesting with this, and I want to play like a suspended fourth. You get to know that theory a little bit, now I go, okay, to make a fourth, I just find the third and I raise it a half step to the fourth. Okay, so here is E, which is the third, if I raise it to a fourth, that's that kind of sound. If I lower it a whole step, I lower the third to a second, it's a sus two. And you hear that a lot, like in a C chord you might hear. Thank you.